Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the correct sizes and the recommendations for an M.2 SSD for your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So you're scrolling through Amazon and you're looking for an M.2 SSD to install on your PlayStation 5, but you're confused about the sizes and the recommendations and what to buy. So let's clarify everything right now. So I'm on PlayStation.com slash support right now, and this is what they say are the requirements for the PlayStation 5 M.2 SSD. So the interface has to be a generation 4x4 Support M.2 NVMe SSD. Has to be 250 gigabytes to four terabytes. Then the supported sizes are 2230, 2242, 2260, 2280, and 2210. Now the width can be up to 25 millimeters. The length is 30, 40, 60, 80, and 110 millimeters. The thickness is up to 11 0.25 millimeters up to 8 millimeters from above the board and up to 2.45 millimeters from below the board then the read speed is recommended 5500 megabytes slash seconds or faster however i have seen some install videos where the recommended speed is lower than the 5500 and it still seems to work then the socket type is three also, it's recommended that you have a heatsink with your M.2 SSD. Now, a heatsink will dissipate the heat coming off the M.2 SSD, allow it to run cooler and more efficiently. So, check to see if the M.2 SSD you bought comes with the heatsink or you have to buy one. All right, so now that we know these specifications for our M.2 SSD, let's go to Amazon and just type that in. So I typed in M.2 SSD, and this is what came up. The first two do not work with the PlayStation 5. And this is the Samsung SD980, and then you have the Samsung 970 Evo. So if I look through these specifications for these two SSDs, I can see right away that this one is a Generation 3 ECIE SSD times four so this one will not work with the playstation 5 it has to be a generation four now if you can't see if it's a generation two or three or four just scroll on down until you get to the comments section and i actually had to type it in for the 980 so i just typed in generation four and they stated in the comment section this is a generation three ssd so this one will not work with the playstation 5 and you can even type in PS5 right here and just see if people have used it. So this comment right here says, will this work with the PS5? This person said, I don't think so because it's a PCIe 3. And PS5 requires PCI Generation 4. Does not work with PS5. Now, when you scroll on down here, here is the Samsung 980 Pro. This one does work with the PlayStation 5. So we can see it's a Generation 4. The size is 2280. And the read speed is far above the 5500 recommendation. So this one has a read speed of 7,000 megabytes per second. And then you can just go to the comments section here and just go to PS5 and just see if anyone has used it before. Will this work with the PS5? Sure, this product worked for the PS5. So the two solid state drives I would recommend right now as of 2021 would be the Samsung 980 Pro and also the Western Digital Black SN850 NVMe. This is actually the one I bought right here installed in my PlayStation 5. Now this one does not come with the heatsink, so I had to buy one. So this is the heatsink I bought in addition to my SSD. So this one does fit NVMe 2280 SSDs. So just confirm that your heatsink that you bought works with your M.2 SSD. So it may take a little bit of research before you actually buy your M.2 SSD. However, two of them I would recommend still are the SNA50 from Western Digital and the Samsung 980 
Pro, and you'll be good to go and install those into your PlayStation 5 in no time. And over time, the prices for those should come down. As of right now, 2021, it's about 180 to 190 bucks to go ahead and buy one terabyte. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos related to the PlayStation 5 coming up next on Your Six Studios.